This video is going to take a look at activating the web applications that come in the Samurai Web Testing Framework. These are target applications that are purposely added to the framework. They're deliberately vulnerable in order to let the user pen test the applications to practice on them or perhaps to be used in university classes, labs, corporate training environments, and different other uses. So there are several targets that come with Samurai. And if you're using the live CD, they will be active. So if we go to Applications, Samurai, Targets, we can see we have DBWA, a couple of others, Matilda, WebGoat, etc. However, in the installed version of the platform, these need to be activated. We can take a look at why this is. So if we look at the startup for Samurai, CD into the Etsy, and say RC level five, and list the contents, there's a file in here, a symbolic link, S20 Samurai. capital S20. And that points off to init.d in Samurai. And there's this file. This file is a script that runs in the different run levels that are symbolically linked to the file. Notice that in the installed version of the Samurai, there isn't anything under the if statement. But if this is the live DVD, then the host.samurai file is copied over top of the regular default host file. And the hostname.samurai file is copied over the Etsy hostname file. And then the hostname command is run. So we can see that if you launch the live DVD, the targets are going to be active when you click on Applications, Samurai, and Targets. But if you click on one of these in the installed version, those three lines of code are not going to run. And when you click on them, you're going to end up going out to the internet looking for the sites or what have you. So the way to fix this is just to replace the host file. This could either be done by changing the Samurai script so that it does the same thing in the installed version as the live version, or you can just manually move the files. So if we cd into Etsy and then take a look at the host.samurai file, we can see that it goes ahead and maps those web application targets to various local IPs. And we can back up the existing host file, come root sudo s, and then make a copy of the existing host file. And then we can copy the host.samurai over top of the regular host file just like the script does. So we can see if we can't as host that we have the mappings. Then when you go to applications, samurai, targets, and say Matilda, it'll come up with the default installation of Matilda. In a previous video, we had looked at installing the latest version of Matilda onto Samurai without disturbing any of the applications that were already there. And we did that by installing it in the var www directory. This 
install type of installation neither activated or affected the default installations in any way there was no host file changes of any kind and no original files were copied over top of it simply installed a separate copy of Matilde that runs at localhost so we can see the default version that's installed is version 2120 as of today but we had installed in the earlier video a copy of RWW which is served not from Matilda mapped to the 127 address in the host file but localhost slash Matilda a slight but important difference if we browse to this location we can see that version 237 is being served it's whatever version that we chose to put into the var ww directory at the time we had downloaded 237 and unzipped it and then dropped the contents of the zip file which is this folder into the var ww directory so there's two copies of matilda installed there's the original copy that's pointed to by the targets tab or the target shortcut in the menu which was 2120 being served from Matilda and then there's the version that we installed at localhost Matilda being served from var ww it's 2120 237 so what if you wanted an application like Matilda to be the latest version but you also wanted it to be served from the default links that already come with Samurai. To do this, simply back up the existing installation of Matilda and replace it with the new version. The default installation that comes with the Samurai is in user share. At least in Samurai 2 it is. It's in an SVR folder on the older version of Samurai. So we can see, if we look at the M's up here, that we have the original installation of Matilda. Also, before this video started, I've copied Matilda 237 into this directory. And to do this, simply went to SourceForge, downloaded Matilda 237, unzipped it, which contained a folder, named that folder Matilda.2.3.7, and dropped it into the user share directory. I've also already made a backup of the existing Matilda. So to replace the current version of Matilda with the newest version, we would copy the newest version over top of the current version. So we need to be root to do this. So you can either sudo s or you can run the sudo command in front. We want to copy dash r recurse so we copy the entire contents of the directory and we're going to copy Matilda 237 over Kappa, top of Matilda and let's check and see if it worked so to check the version we can cat the constants file in the includes directory so it doesn't look like it worked just do a quick punt here do a uh, pseudo remove Matilda the original Matilda directory which we've already backed up and then try to copy again Okay, now we have version 237 copied into the Matilda directory. So when we cat Matilda includes constants.php, comes back with the version 237. We could also do a grep for a version. see the string C version is 237. Grep is case sensitive unless you use the uh, the I flag or whatever makes it case sensitive. 
All right, so now we know how to install Matilda Day as a separate project, and we also know how to install the latest version over top of the existing version so that all the links and stuff in Samurai work. So if we go to Applications, Samurai, Targets, this time when we hit Matilda Day, instead of coming up as version 2.1.20 being served from hostname Matilda Day, this should say 2.3.7. And it appears that we've successfully replaced the default version that came with the product with the latest version. And every time a new revision of DBWA or Matilda Day or whatever comes out, we can go back and install the latest version in our existing copy of Samurai to keep it updated with the latest version. So to review, we have installed, we have gotten the default version of Matilda Day working by replacing the host file. We saw why the host file was replaced in the live CD but wasn't in the installed version because of the symbolically linked file that runs at startup. We've also seen how to install a copy of Matilda Day completely separately from the default version without copying over top of anything or damaging any of the apps that were there. And then we've also seen how to back up the default version and replace it with the newest version if that's what is wanted. So you can run the default version and the new version side by side or you can re replace or upgrade the existing version with the latest.